Hi, I'm Lisa Williams. I'm one of the librarians here at JCPL, and I wanted to tell you about a book discussion, uh, a, a book that we've used in our book discussions. It's one of my favorites, I think, didn't get as much attention as maybe it should have, and it's Shades of Grey by Jasper Ford, not to be confused with the Fifty Shades of Grey. This is actually called Shades of Grey, uh, The Road to High Saffron, and it is a dystopian, futuristic, fantasy, sci-fi novel. Um, but before you think grim and uh, depressing, this is more of a humorous kind of book. Um, he does, he plays a lot with the idea of how um, if a cataclysmic event happened, how that would reorganize your society in ways you might never expect. In this particular case, what happens is people's color vision becomes affected. And so that restructures the whole society. Um, what your place in society is based on the color that you're able to see. Uh, so there's, you're called a red, an orange, a green, a blue, whatever. And as you go uh, up to the purples, that's the top level of society. So it's an um, interesting way to look at hierarchies in, a, in an inverted way, um, a different, using a different lens, so to speak. Um, so it's a book you can read on two levels. You can enjoy it just purely as that kind of science fiction fantasy book, or you can think about it in terms of what it's saying um, about how people structure according to structure their societies according to kind of uh, very uh, arbitrary uh, characteristics and traits. So you can read uh, you can read it on a deeper level too.